your paperwork and everything seems to be in order. Adoption isn't for everyone, but you seem like the kind of people with plenty of love to share. <laughs> really? House looks like he has plenty of love to share. Magnus casting is weird. So Mrs. Keeper here shows the two into the dormitory, as Frederick and Eleanor here are just overwhelmed by choice. Oh, Frederick, look at them. How could we possibly shoes? I know. Did you just say shoes? Shoes, I know. Okay, apparently the little family is quite the keen eye for footwear. Oh dear, look at that poor bastard. He mustn't even have a soul. What, cause he's ginger? No, he's wearing Crocs. <gasps> Ow! That was so stupid, it just literally killed thousands of my brain cells. Ow! Oh. Quick advice to my fellow reviewers. I always have a batch of amphetamines on standby when Shyamalan is involved. Your new bedroom, Stuart. We hope you like it. Sure is roomy. Uh, I do hope he's had a medical checkup. I mean, mice can carry a lot of diseases, like hantavirus pulmonary syndrome, hemorrhagic fever with renal syndrome, lassa fever, leptospirosis, lymphocytic chorio-meningitis, Omsk hemorrhagic fever, plague, rat bag fever, salmonellosis, South America arena viruses, tularemia. Man, we have Dr. Fucking House in this room. Shouldn't this be addressed before we start kissing him? Ew. So, yeah, Stuart nearly dies as Principal Prickler shows up and does a checkup on Stuart. Oh, yeah, that's Dabney Coleman, the voice of Principal Prickley from Recess playing the Doctor. How's that for random? Psychedelic Principalia. You know, just to change the subject here a little, there's some funny Recess relations you can make today. Like, did you know Ellie in The Last of Us is voiced by the same actress who played Gretchen? And that in Battlefield 4, there's a character called Pac, who's voiced in Motion Cat by the same actor who played as TJ. <laughs> the more you know, huh? So Stuart picks out an outfit, as later that night, members of the extended family arrive for the house, as Mr. and Mrs. Little introduce them to Stuart. Hello. Everyone. He's, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh, by the way, he's a mouse. Everyone, out the building. Crenshaw, get the gas. But George isn't quite as excited as the rest of the family, as he says quite possibly the cruelest and most mean-spirited thing I think I've ever heard in a PG film. How's he going to toss a baseball? How is he going to do any of those things? He's not my brother. He's a mouse. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Little. You gave birth to say it, and I hope you're happy. So after everyone just leaves instead of kicking the shit out of George for being such a little prick, the family goes to sleep when we get to... Uh, this scene. What did you want to ask us? About my real family. You know, the ones I look like. He hates us. We've never been hated before. Oh dear, better get used to that, man. Dr. House, can I ask you a question? Are you insane or just stupid? Is there a third option? No, 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 it's, it's not that. It's not that at all. It's just that something's missing. I, I feel an empty space inside me, and, and I just want to know what was there before. Have you tried wearing an orange body warmer riding around in a DeLorean? So the day of the boat race arrives. Ow! Ugh. Oh, fuck that. <sighs> Screw it, I'm just gonna gorge myself on protein shakes. I'm glad you're here, George. Someone's gotta finish last. Sheesh. It's like you took Lucas from the Wizard and sucked out all like ability. So as it turns out, Reggie and Camille were ordered by Smokey to take Stuart away. 
Why the cats haven't just gone over to Reggie and Camille to eat Stuart already, I don't know. And Smokey now puts out a call for action. We do what we should have done in the first place. We scratch him out. Scratch him out? I could just scratch him out? What the hell does that mean? It's settled. Stuart Little gets scratched tonight. You mean like, literally scratch him? Well, like to the death? You know, this was obviously done because the cat mentioned killing in a kid's phone, but when you think about it, this sounds worse. You know what it reminds me of? I'll kill you for this. Scratching out. Verb. The act of using one's claws to tear away flesh causing significant pain for the victim will most likely result in a slow, painful death. Ailish Dictionary here gives explanations to all the strange phrases you hear in films. I tell you what, whilst we're here, let's look up furry pink clips. Uh, <laughs> I forgot there were pictures. What the hell's going on here? Uh, look, Smokey, uh, call me fickle, but uh, I want to call this whole thing off, okay? Too late. Um, question. Why is a whole pack of cats so concerned over this particular mouse? It's not as if there's enough of him to go around. Hell, Snowbell could fit the whole of him in his gob at once. There's bloody five of you. How the hell are you going to divide a mouse five ways? Hey, Smokey! Get away from her, you bitch! Ah! 